In this video, I'll be showing you how I got the Stalker achievement in single player in Payday 2, which is earned by keeping Garrett marked from the moment he leaves his office to the moment you open his safe in the Breaking Feds heist. This video is not intended to be a complete guide, as RNG can influence the heist and give you a run fairly different from what I experienced, but hopefully this will help give you a general idea of how to get this achievement. Before we begin, there are two things important to know. First is that this achievement can be completed on any difficulty, so I highly recommend that you do this on normal. Second is bringing the skill High Value Target Ace for this achievement, as it will make enemies you mark stay marked for double the amount of time. Okay, so breaking feds. Not too hard of a heist, especially on normal difficulty, which is what we want to play on. So first things first, uh, you want to buy the body bags. Well, you don't necessarily have to if you don't intend on doing too much killing, but. You know, it's the only asset you can buy and it's on normal, so it's cheap as chips anyway, so worth buying in my opinion. Get the body back at the start, so just grab that real quick. Um, and, you know, make sure you don't get caught straight away like I do. I'm a little bit of a fool. Uh, and so straight away you'll notice I found the whiteboard, which is ideal. The whiteboard has a couple of different spawns, and it's telling us that the laptop that we need is in HR, which is right here. Now, there is also a civilian in here, so I just take him out real quick because we got to hack that laptop later and that civilian will just get in the way. So... I tried to drop the bag here. I don't believe guards will see a bag there, but I wanted to play it safe, and I know they definitely won't see one that's back here inside the spawn room. So I leave it in there just for just to be safe. We don't want this thing to, to go loud too early. Now, guard coming up that way, so I'll head around the other side. I was about to head around that way, so the light, so snuck through HR. Now, first thing you have to do is you have to go to the security barrier on this heist. You won't be able to do any objectives till you get here, so really your first objective should be to get there. Now you can skip the find the whiteboard objective. Uh, we've already found it, as you see, and so we know which laptop it is straight away. Get it hacked, and now we have 30 seconds to get to the security barrier. We make it through in no time, not a problem. Security barrier is open, and I take a, a right here because honestly, I always hope that Garrett's office is on this side. I find it a bit easier, but on this run, it is not. Uh, so heading around to the other side, get a little bit of a lag spike there. Oh, don't get caught. Ooh. Okay, and we head through to this side, and immediately on the right is security. Security has quite a few spawns, um, and we just happen to find it here. Definitely worth taking security down on this heist. You can kill or dominate him, doesn't really matter. Uh, I went for the domination here because I wasn't 100% sure if the extra guards that spawn on this heist was a result of guard kills or pages used. Um, I later found out, as you'll see, it is just based on pages used. So you can kill or dominate that guard. Also notice the gensec boxes around. Um, we, we've already passed two. Uh, so we, we are still looking for the third one. But I'm just checking to make sure there's no guards coming up that hallway so I can kill this guy. Now on normal difficulty in this area, there are only two guards that roam around. So you can't afford to kill them both. After you kill two guards, a third guard will be called up by the elevator as like a backup guard. Um, as you can see here, as Locke says. So we kill a third guard as well, just, you know, clear it, clear it up a little bit. Bag him up, so, you know, obviously nothing horrible happens. And the fourth guard, or sorry, I suppose the third guard, the fourth pager, is coming up one of these lifts right now. So obviously we want to take him out as well because he'll patrol between both of the like Garrett spawns, where like either side where his office could spawn. So it's worthwhile taking him out because he can be a bit of a menace. So grab a couple of body bags. This guy walks out the elevator and immediately, but he's dead. And that's it now. There are now no more guards roaming around on this side where Garrett's going to be roaming around, which makes the actual achievement very easy, which is why I highly recommend playing this on normal. If you play on any harder difficulty, there'll be three guards roaming around back here, and the elevator guard will come up, and there's the camera guard too. It just makes it a whole, whole lot harder. Uh, for no real reason. So there's Garrett's office. We see Garrett's inside. Now, I click the trip mine to make sure I'm placing it correctly. You want to, you can place the trip mine on the side of the door like that. You cannot place it on the door itself. And we tripwire up the rest of the place. And so that way, as Garrett walks through, he'll continue to be marked. Now obviously we're running high value targets aced, so our marks on Garrett are already very effective. And so that is primarily how we want to be marking them as well. We, uh, we don't really want to be relying on the trip mines, the trip mines are just sort of a nice little backup. So we have got 14, so we'll place down as many as we can. 
obviously we don't have to worry about cameras or guards here, so we can run around this whole whole area freely. The only thing are stray civilians, but you should be able to keep an eye out for them fairly easily. Right, so run into the back. There's a civilian, and you might have noticed, if you're uh, eagle-eyed, the third and final gensec box, as you can see there as we pass it again. So we've seen all three gensec boxes now. Get the last of the trip mines down, and now we're ready to log Garrett out. As we know where the trip wires are, uh, as we we know where the gensec boxes are. And so before he leaves his office, we want to get him marked. I'm not actually sure if the trip wire on the door is enough to mark him as he leaves. I'm not sure whether it, it validates the achievement or not. So I find it's always better to mark him before he leaves rather than after. Now, if your first objective is turning off the power to lure him out, he will leave essentially as soon as the power is turned off. So you definitely want to mark him before you turn off the power rather than after. If you get the phone or if you get the email, it's not as bad. Uh, he has like a small animation before he leaves with a little bit of dialogue. Right, so out he goes. Make sure we keep him marked. Now with high value target marked, we mark him for roughly 30 seconds. It's a little bit less, I believe. But as long as we keep an eye on the timer at the top, we know that roughly every 30 seconds, we've got to put a new mark on him. But to play it safe, I'd say every 20. Um, or you can do what I do and just mark him whenever you get the chance. So go into those three gensec boxes we marked earlier, or we, we, you know, we, uh, we paid attention to. Makes this section a lot easier because now we're not running around looking for boxes and not running into Garrett, who will stay there forever until all three of the boxes are, are interacted with and you open the door. Once the door's open, Garrett's timer will then take down and he will eventually come back to his office. So and make sure that you're, you're going out. You've got to find the safe here, so move the covers up. Get another mark on Garrett because he is stationary, so he's the tripwires aren't going to be marking him. Now, you don't need to look for the codes here. You need to wait for a special lock line. He'll have a couple of different lines depending on the code. So as you can see there, Garrett likes history, uh, which means it's the historical code, which is 1776. Now, when I was doing this, I forgot what the codes were and what the what the hints were. So as you'll see in a little bit, I do actually put in the wrong code a couple of times, but that's fine. I was just showing you guys that you can, uh, you can afford to blunder a bit on this achievement. It's not too bad. Right, so make sure we keep Garrett marked. Because obviously, if he loses his mark while he's inside his office, that will invalidate the achievement, I believe. Uh, so it's, you know, better safe to just keep him marked at all times. So keep the mark going. We've called him on the phone. He'll do a, a brief little, little voice clip. He'll interact with his phone and he'll head on out. Right, so again, we mark him about every 30 seconds. So you don't really need to mark him as often as I'm marking him here, but... Alright, out he goes. So, let's get back in. Now, if you were a good player, and you knew the hints off by heart, unlike me, you'll put in the correct code straight away and get the achievement straight away. I'm a bit of a fool, and I thought historical, for some reason I mixed that up with the anniversary one, so I was putting in 1212, which is the anniversary code. Now, if you get it wrong, it doesn't immediately fail a heist or anything, so don't fret. But it will go on a small cooldown, and you'll have to wait. So, you know, don't panic. Just make sure you keep Garrett marked. Don't let his mark wear off. Keep marking him, and you'll be fine. So, when I put in 1212 this first time, I just thought I'd typo and put like 1112 or 1222 or something. So I go back to, to make sure that I put in 1212 this time. 1212. Wrong again, and uh, I was a little confused. I was like, what the, what, why isn't it working? Uh, but you know, of course I am a little bit of a fool. All right, so make sure we keep Garrett marked as always. Make sure he doesn't spot us as well. If he spots us, that's an instant heist run ender. So, you know, make sure he doesn't catch you. And also make sure you're not in his room as he comes back. But obviously you're going for this achievement. You're gonna know where he is at all times anyway. So he should never catch you off guard. Right, so back into his room he goes. Obviously as well, be careful marking the cameras, because obviously every time you mark the camera, you're not marking Garrett. Right, so keep him marked. And here we go, final objective of the three, turn off the power. We've already done the phone, we've already done the email, now we turn off the lights, and as you'll notice, he pretty much instantly turns around and leaves. So obviously we have to keep him marked. 
and he's coming this way, so I figured it would be faster to just run around the other side instead of waiting for him to pass. So I run around, and as you can see, it was fairly fast. Open up the door and type in the correct code this time 1776. Enter the code, and there we go. Achievement unlocked. Not too hard, honestly. Got it on my third try. Um, and the first two tries were just me being a bit stupid, so doing it on normal difficulty really makes this easier. And of course, at the end, well, you already got the achievement, so um, see you, Garrett. Look at him. <laughs> what a fool. That's what he gets for crossing the payday, gang. Anyway, there you go. That's this uh, achievement. Hopefully that helped you, and thanks for watching. If you've got any more stealth heist achievements that you have trouble with, that you think uh, this uh, I could cover in a video, uh, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, you know, be sure to give it a like, and if you enjoyed, consider subscribing for more payday videos and other stuff coming soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, see ya.